Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a while. I made a video. Just been busy with life, work, and whatnot. Families, man. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna start trying to make videos about NBA. It's kind of hard, man. There's a game every day, basically, and it's uh, tough to keep track of all of this. Um, so, forgive me if sometimes I don't load. It's because I'm busy with work and, you know, just normal shit in life. Um, shout out to anybody who's still following me uh, anybody that's new to the channel you know subscribe like the video um, what I do is I you know I'm, I do free picks for sports basically basketball football hockey here and there I'm not really like I don't put that much time into hockey I just noticed hockey and baseball wow. are a sport where anybody could win any day you know what I mean uh, basketball yeah that could happen too it's just mm, most of the time, the best team wins in basketball, honestly. It's just a spread that's kind of hard to predict. Unlike, you know, where in football you could actually predict a spread being easily covered or not being covered. NBA is kind of similar to that situation. It just depends on the team and how hot they're going or playing at the moment. Um, so I'm just going right, to dive right into the games. What was it? Two, four, six, seven games today. So, first game is Pacers against Charlotte. Uh, so, Pacers are missing Lamb. Okay. Um, I really haven't looked at much um, study-wise, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. But I'll try my best, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, Charlotte, like, haven't been doing that bad. And Pacers, I think, just got demolished by... Um, Raptors, if I'm not mistaken. Was it yesterday or the night before? It was the night before, yeah. Um, man, this is tough. Um, I think that spread is too much. I mean, Pacers haven't done anything to prove anything to me. To be favored by that much. Um, look at their record. Just the record the last 10 speaks for itself. So I don't know how they're favored by 10. So I'm going to say Charlotte Hornets plus... Let's say 14 and a half just to be safe on the safe side or even 15. Um, still should pay well. Uh, Pacers should win. I just don't know about the spread, but I wouldn't be surprised if they lose. <clears throat> I just think 10 points is too much. I think since uh, Odalipo, oh, he's out too, eh? Odalipo. Hmm. It's tough. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say Charlotte plus 15. Uh, Bucks against Raptors. Bucks played OT yesterday, right? Uh, yeah, they did. It's a tough game, man. Um, it's a good game. This is going to be a good game. Uh, if I have to choose, I'm going to go with uh, the Bucks. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Bucks. I just can't go against them, even though they're playing back-to-back. -back. I wouldn't be shocked if the Raptors win. Um, OKC versus Bulls. OKC is on a fire right now. Uh, so I'm going to say OKC minus four. I think Bulls are missing a lot of players. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to go OKC plus, minus four to be safe. Uh, they trade against uh, Nuggets. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Did Nuggets play yesterday? Sorry. Uh, let me see. Mm, nope. Neither team played yesterday. So, okay. So, Denver is not a team that blows out teams, honestly. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> they keep it close all the time. Um, hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, this could be a revenge for Denver because they did give up, what was it, 20 points against Detroit the last time they played, and they ended up losing to Detroit. I remember that game very well. Um, I'm going to go with the spread here. I'm going to go with Detroit plus, say, 16 to be safe. Yeah, I'm going to go Detroit plus 16 to be safe. Maybe even 18 if you want. Um, 
it still should pay well. I don't I, like I don't see Denver blowing this deck. I mean, it is a revenge game, so you could either go plus eighteen Detroit or go minus six Denver. Yeah, minus no six doesn't pay well, so I'll go minus eight. I mean, I can see Denver winning by more than ten. Yeah, definitely by more than ten. Okay. Um. Next, Lakers against Pelicans. What's the spread at? Damn. Uh. So a lot of freaking ex players coming back to LA. I'm gonna go with the Pelicans to cover the spread, even buy some points. I might. I might even take money line. You know. I just feel like this could be a game of revenge for New Orleans. I might be mistaken. I just hate going against. See, NBA is about stars basically and lakers got two of them and while pelicans have one rookie guy um lakers should win is the question is the spread and depends how pelicans come into play if they play like they've been playing lately i wouldn't be shocked if they win guys honestly <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna go pelicans plus i'm gonna say 11 and then you have a fun ticket I'm going to make a fun, like, tell you guys about a fun ticket afterwards, all right? Just so you can make some extra money if you hit. Okay, next, Boston at Portland. Uh, let's see, is Lillard still out? Yep. So we're going to go Boston here to win. What's the spread at? Seven and a half? I mean, that should be easy to cover. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go Boston here. Uh, you can buy some points always to be safe. That's my go-to. Kings against Golden State. Golden State is on a fucking... Um, uh, slide of uh, slides so I'm gonna go Kings here uh, spread is surprise spread is so low hmm so what do you know buy some points to be safe money line is the safest bet for Kings here <clears throat> excuse me they're healthy um, they should win this game honestly uh, let me see if Chris is coming back today okay so he might be back today that's still not gonna help him to win Okay, so my fun ticket is this, guys. Okay, um, let's do this. Pelicans, money line. For fun. This is a fun ticket, guys. You could bet 5 10 bucks. you know what I mean? Pelicans, money line. Boston, spread. Kings, spread. OKC. I'm scared of this game. No, okay, see, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to touch that game. Okay. Pelicans, money line, Boston spread, Kings spread. Boston, honestly, buy some points. Make it a minus five, not too much down. So minus five is still plays like 1.6, if I'm not mistaken. Pelicans, money line, Kings spread should be good. Um, I'm going to leave the OKC game. Just feel kind of iffy about that game for some reason. OKC at home, yeah, they're a different team on the road. Eh. Um, they should still win. Maybe money line. Okay, see money line. Yeah, okay, see money line. Okay, and fuck. I want to say Raptors money line. I'll see. But no, no, take that back, guys. Take Bucks money line. One thing I noticed about Raptors against top teams, they haven't been that good. I mean, they could win this because Bucks played back to back and OT. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go Bucks. And then that's about it. What is it? One, two, three, four. Four games. I don't know. Bet 10, 15 bucks for fun. All right, everybody. Hopefully, I'll make more videos in the future. And I'll do more, like, you know, reviews and previews before um, I make my predictions. This is just a quick one for today. The game starts literally about an hour. So, good luck to everybody. And take care.